You said that Last Tango was like a documentary, like a Jean Rouge movie uh, about Marlon Brando. Do you remember that scene where Schneider's asking him to talk about himself and then Brando says things about his childhood and about standing in cow shit and everything? And these are things really from Brando's life. You haven't continued to use that kind of very documentary approach to things. Why? Always. is The only way I can shoot a movie is, uh, as Jean Renoir said, to let the door open and let the unpredictable reality come into the shot, come into the movie. You know, if Marlon would have come with a devastated face because he had a very naughty night, instead of putting a lot of makeup on his face, I would, I would have managed to use this devastated face because that was in front of the camera and there is no makeup that can hide the truth to the camera because the camera always sees the truth. So that was my deal with Marlon Brando. I didn't want the same Marlon, the fantastic Marlon we have seen in Waterfront of Zapata. Marlon, I want to grab out of your face, take off from your face, the actor studio Stanislavski Strasberg mask. Mm, he never answered yes or no. Then seeing the movie, I thought I succeeded. I mean, Marlon Brando in Last Tango is much closer to what Marlon is in life. And when two or three years ago, I had a long meeting with Marlon after a long time and I told him, don't you think that I, I achieved my mission to take off the mask. Marlon said, he had this little smile and he said, ha, ha, you think that that one was me? Ha, ha. <laughs> um, um, but in fact, it has been always my way of um, approaching a story. To use the camera as if I was doing a documentary. You said Cinema Verite is very right. There was a monologue of Marlon's character in front of the corpse of his dead wife. And it was coming very much from a, a Strindberg text. I never told Marlon, but um, it was from Strindberg kind of misogynist drive that I took. And Marlon changed it and it started to come out with this very, very emotional thing. You big fucker, tell me the truth, etc. 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 Marlon doesn't like to learn dialogues by heart. <laughs> the dialogues written just behind the camera. He likes to to look for a second, catch a word of the original dialogue, and from that word, reconstruct in his memory what he had to say. And uh, he's there looking at the dead wife, and here there's a huge blackboard with the old dialogues written. It's nice to reveal <laughs> this. <laughs> You naughty exactly. thing, you should pretend that you memorized it all. Uh, no, because uh, Marlon uh, is famous for that. Sure, I know. I remember he was so happy when Maria Schneider was giving him the line out of the camera, just next to the camera, and, uh, and Maria would appear in front of him, who was in a close-up, with the, like the dialogue written on her forehead. He would be so happy because we were making fun of him and he has a lot of sense of humor. <laughs>